Hey YouTube, how are you doing on this wonderful day? Um, with all the insanity that's going on in the market today, I don't have a featured stock to go over, but I do have some very nice looking chart patterns that I want to share with you guys that could potentially be leading to some decent moves up. I mean, in this market, who knows what the heck is going on, but uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get into some of these nice looking chart patterns. Now, if you're new to my channel, I like to find short-term and long-term trading opportunities in typically lower-priced stocks. Not only will I talk about the featured stock in the video, but I also try to present at least a couple other nice-looking tradable opportunities that are happening currently in the market. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading ideas. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please do all of your own research before buying any of these stocks. All right, well, before I get into some of those other charts, what I want to do is go over the NASDAQ ETF, the QQQ, real quick because um, there's some interesting information in this chart. This is the 15-minute chart going back a couple of weeks or so. Um, but if we look down here, this is the balance of power indicator that is on the TC2000 uh, platform. It's kind of like a similar to the regular accumulation uh, distribution indicator you'll find on other uh, trading softwares. But basically what this is doing is tracking the 10,000 share or greater buyer sell order. So it kind of tracks what the big boys are doing and uh, they tend to lead the market. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense what's going on lately, but uh, believe it or not, they do tend to lead the market. But anyway, as we can see from this indicator, there has been a lot of more sell orders lately than there has been buy orders despite the market for the most part trending to the upside still um, and especially in these big down drafts you can see there has been heavy heavy selling and today again more heavy selling even though it is starting to find some support here at the 200 sma on the 15 minute chart um i wouldn't be a bit surprised if we're going to have some more downward price movement in the next several weeks because this is typical of what you see at at least a short-term market top is you start seeing uh, a lot of the uh, the big boys start to distribute their shares and then eventually it's uh, too much for the market to bear and it kind of tips over. You know, you never know how long um, the tip over is going to be. Sometimes it's only a couple of days or a couple of weeks or sometimes you could be entering into a bull mar or a, a full-fledged bear market. But um, what I want to do is just show you this chart because I found it very interesting. This doesn't mean you should head for the hills, but what this does mean, if we continue to see more big selling coming into the market, this could be a turning point, at least for the short to medium term, if not for the long term. So I want to bring that to your guys' attention, but uh, let's get into some of the bullish charts that I have to show for you. All right, well, the first one I want to go over is one I actually bought today. It is Tough Built Industries Incorporated, um, ticker symbol TBLT. And um, we can see it is moving up very nicely out of this rounded bottom and is starting to climb up the eighth period exponential moving average. Um, it was trading near, when it was trading near the high of the day, it had a very nice looking candle, but unfortunately it is starting to pull back just a little bit. But if it can end the day, near the top of this range that is a very bullish looking uh breakout to the upside um what i'm going to do is place my stop loss under a dollar 14 a share right under this resistance area right here actually the support area i should say if it breaks that support area i'm probably going to get out of this stock and if i back out just a little bit um this is a pretty stiff looking resistance area right here so i'm going to look to take profit um right about in this area around uh, 282 but we can see that it has had several touches at, at right around the two dollar and eighty cent area um so this is a very uh you could probably put this whole area right here and i can just keep going but you guys can see it with your own eyes um zoom in a little bit closer here you can see that represents a very very nice risk versus reward from this price level so uh if this trade goes my way it's going to be a fantastic trade hopefully it can close near the high of the day it is pulling back just a little bit intraday but um if this thing can finish strong it's already trading on above average volume so if this trading volume can uh end up right around 10 million shares 
plus close near the high of the day, I think there's a very, very nice chance that this could uh, start trucking higher. But um, let's get into the next one. Uh, I'm just going to go over these super quick, guys, so this doesn't take too long. Um, the next one I want to go over is TENX. This one looks dynamite. Um, if you, I might end up taking a position in this one before the day closes. Um, if you go back, you can see this had a very nice looking long base and the accumulation is taking place. Let me see if I can go backwards a little bit. That volume bar there is kind of distorting all the volume. And I guess that one's pretty high too. But there has been a ton of accumulation going on with this stock and it is bouncing off of this eight period exponential moving average, finding support and blasting to a new high. So this could be one of those type of stocks um, that end up um, just gapping up big tomorrow the way the market's been going. I'm not saying it's going to, but the way this chart pattern is playing out, if it can end the day looking very similar as it is right now, there's a very good chance it's probably going to have some follow through to the upside going forward. And again, this is 10X Therapeutics, ticker symbol T-E-N-X. Let's go to the next one I want to talk about, S-A-L-M. SLAM is Salem Media. This one is starting to ride the eight period exponential moving average. Um, there's been a lot of accumulation coming on in this chart pattern. It's had a, you know, some big fluctuations in the last several months and, that have pulled back, but is now starting to ride up that moving average. What I would like to see from this point is a breakout of this area right here. If you can get over a dollar eighty. Uh, a share uh, with, with a little bit of volume. I think there's a very good possibility this thing could be blasting up towards these old highs right around uh, 250 or so pretty easily. So this is one that you don't want to be buying just yet. Just keep it on your watch list. And if we get some kind of a breakout through 180 with some decent volume, I think there's a great chance that SALM uh, could be headed higher. Next one I want to go over is rail. We look at rail and uh, back out just a little bit we can see that it is forming a very nice rounding bottom and it is now busting out to new highs um we can see that it is pulling back just a smidge from the high of the day but the market has been pretty weak so any of these stocks that are up on the day on a weak day for the most part you know that's showing some good underlying strength so uh R-A-I-L, I think it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. And if it can hold this uh, support area, if it can pull back to around $1.85 and hold that area, I think there's a great chance that this resistance or this support area is going to hold and the uptrend is going to continue. Um, the next one I want to go over is CBLI. If we bring up CBLI, this is just an absolutely beautiful chart. Uh, Cleveland Biolabs Incorporated. Um, very nice rounding bottom. You can see these huge up days. These are big accumulation days. And um, it is finally starting to uh, dry up the supply and move higher. And today is having a very bullish looking candle. Um, looks like it is in the acceleration part of its trend for sure. You know, if we go to the 15 minute chart on this one. Um, we can see it's making a very, very nice looking uh, triangle consolidation at this level. And if it could, uh, I would like to see it, you know, trend sideways to up a little bit more. And then we could get a potential another blast up, you know, acceleration like we had um, just a just a day or so ago. But um, CBLI is a very nice looking chart. Um, it's just tons, tons of accumulation, this rounding bottom. Um, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this thing's, you know, in double digits before too long. Um, the last one that I do want to go over is BE, uh, BNED Barnes and Noble. And uh, you might think that these things are probably not going to be the best things to be buying. But, you know, with GameStop and uh, AMC and all those other plays, um, who knows? Barnes & Noble might be the next big one to start screaming because if you look at this pattern, it is just a thing of beauty. It's a very, very nice looking bullish triangle consolidation pattern. And if we go intraday to the 15 minute chart, um, you can see how much uh, nicer it looks on the intraday chart. So I like going intraday just to get a better feel for how the pattern is shaping up. And um, it looks even better on the intraday chart. So. 
uh, B N E D Barnes and Noble Education uh, <laughs> could be the next crazy one to be blasting out. Who knows? But I just wanted to show you guys some uh, nice looking chart patterns that we still got going on in this market. Be weary of the distribution that's going on in the overall market. But um, if some of these other stocks are still strong, there's no reason why you can't play them. I just would uh, use some caution. Um, with the overall market don't be too heavily invested if it starts to turn over you know you want to have some dry powder you want to have some cash on the sidelines so you can take advantage of some deals but uh, those are the ones i wanted to show you guys all right guys well that's all i have for this one but if you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks please don't hesitate to leave them down there in the comment section and i will get back to you as soon as i can uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so don't miss any future trading opportunities um, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end and until next time take care everybody